today we're going to work in this area. We're going to put the a galley table in here, just a short galley table, not to be very much boating terms. I know. Galley. It's a galley. Yeah, I think we'll we'll do a 34, put the plywood on top, it gives us a two inch yep. separation between here. Yep. Some of these are 40 inches long. Most pellets are 40 inches wide. Right. And uh, but some of these are over four feet. Okay. So I need a, a one or two, at least four feet one, so I can do the fronts in one piece and the back in one. Piece. Laser. They're not laser straight. They're what? Not laser straight. What? What? for the tabletop and you know, we'll put a we'll put some supports in here or here mm. yeah that might be a good idea but eventually we'll put something on top so it really doesn't matter what the top looks like right now it's just the framework to get it started today okay what size of screws are you using for this three and a half Probably get away with three, but that's what we got. Only use what you got. Use what we got. Three quarter inch sheath, and it doesn't matter where you put a screw. You don't have to look for a stud all the time. You don't have to look for a stud. It has to be 22. So this one will have to be toenailed, I guess. Want to climb? Clamp is kind of no good, really. Yeah, I was gonna say. I guess I'm it. Climb it too. Yeah, can't really make it go around the corner. Okay. So you twisted it because it's, yeah. it's racked, you twisted it the other way. Yeah. Oh, cool. Flush. Mm -hmm. Change the size 
say which is the best way for this. This is the strongest. Oh, well, I'd go with that. But now we gotta, at some point, we gotta close this in. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see what you mean by flush. Go right underneath the corner. I wasn't quite sure what you meant, but like right under the corner there, yeah. Well, that would make it easier to close in then. Well, you've got to put your mark so you're not cutting through a nail. Yeah, I suppose it. Not good for the saw blade. Glad to see you remembered your extra blade there. I was supposed to remind you, wasn't I? Manipulate them. Is there a little raptor? Still not 100% sold on it, I take it. Oh, so it's the same as this. I see. Orientation's the same. Okay. Shelf yep. So the countertop is a little bit more secure. Well, it looks straighter too. So we'll put another one across here, across the back, and then we'll do a shelf in here. We'll support it in the middle. We'll do a shelf in here. Nice. Oh, 
what are you going to use for finish on this? Like, what are you going to cloud it with? Pallet boards? Oh, they're good. Okay. We'll Sounds make, good. We'll, make, we'll overhang this quite a ways. Mm -hmm. I was even thinking about making something. To swing up? Yeah. To, to give yourself extent. That's actually not a bad yeah, idea. You know, build something like that. Yeah. Just put a couple hinges and then have a have a block over here or mm -hmm. something that uh, swing it up and then. Yeah, if you need extra counter swing, space. Uh, have a thing there where you swing out mm -hmm. and just support it and it'll be extra counter if you ever need it. Good. Yep, I like it. Mm-hmm. Why did you flip it? One size. There's no bark. Oh. Three sides there. Are you saying you don't want the light live edge? You're not a fan of the live edge? No. Side. Mm -hmm. So you need a brace in the middle there? Yeah. Well, you gotta have something to screw here, otherwise it's gonna. Yeah. All right. We got the one at the back. So we gotta put a brace in here. Well, I think that would be very frugal to do that.
size are those? They're inch and three quarter. Okay, so we're gonna put it from there so because yeah. the factory edges would be a tighter fit. Yeah. Well that makes sense. Why did you cut it with the hand saw? Oh, I see. set of doors mm -hmm. and they'll, they'll tuck underneath here. We can actually put a, a short, another one, we can make a bit more of an overhang. 